All right, you guys, back in my car. Got some recycling in the back. Um, okay, so after I posted the video um, taking you guys along to the Charlotte Joanne, many of you commented that you'd like to see the Hobby Lobby. So I've got to head out to the Hobby Lobby today because I need buttons for the trench coat I'm working on as well as this little number that you guys are going to see in uh, maybe a week or so. Um, I'm doing kind of like a little comparison to hopefully educate you guys on why I like vertical fisheye darts so much. So that'll be fun, but I've got to get some buttons to finish up both of those projects. So I thought I would take you along with me and we can check out the Hobby Lobby together. What I'm expecting based on the Charleston Hobby Lobby and what I've seen online from other people's hauls and whatnot is that there is going to be limited garment fashion fabrics. Perfectly fine. Um, but what I am eager to learn is more about their pattern selection. So the Charleston Joanne was seriously so good at um, getting the new patterns in stock that I never bought patterns at the Hobby Lobby. I just never needed to. Um, so I don't know if there's a sale going on. I'm not even really planning on buying any patterns today, but I wanna see what books they have out and then I wanna see if they have the new patterns out. It would be amazing, like top-notch quality if they had the new Vogue Spring. That would be 10 out of 10. This would be my go-to pattern purchasing place. A lot of alliteration there. Um, but if they don't have that, then Simplicity Spring, Early Spring would be next. And then before that, wasn't it Butterick's early spring? So I want to see if they had any patterns that came out in 2019 because the Joanne does not. Um, so just do a little comparison on the pattern front and see what it's like. Um, it's a little bit of a hike. It's further out than my Joanne is. So it's got to be good in order for me to make this trek. Um, but we're on our way. It's a beautiful sunny day, even though, well, I mean, it's 50 degrees. So by all accounts, not that bad. I don't even have a jacket today. Just this like wool sweater. Goodwill. Um, anyways, check back with you guys when I get there. Fingers crossed that I don't get lost. <laughs> okay. All right. I found it. It looks like every other Hobby Lobby I've been to so far. And if I thought that where the Joanne was, was like desolate. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere pops up a strip mall. This place is like even pushing that envelope even further. There's literally every single retail store you can think of in like a half mile area. I'm talking literally all of them. Um, this is just like, commerce amplified <laughs> to a level I have never seen before. Um, but anyways, we're here. The store actually does look pretty big. Um, so that's good. And if I like their selection, I could certainly knock out all my errands in this one area. So it's not like I'm just coming out here and then that's all I can do. So there would be good time management associated, which is nice. Um, I might have forgotten my earbuds, so I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to hear me, um, but I'll do my best to speak loudly and not scare people in there <laughs> talking to my phone. Um, okay, let's see what it's like. Okay. So they actually have four racks. One, two, <laughs> three, four of apparel fabric. Um, my, the Charleston Joanne only seemed to have maybe like one or two. So this is impressive. Um, it is a lot of polyester, 
also it's not organized like all the lightweight like drapey stuff isn't together and the cotton stuff together or the eyelet it's not like that um it's not even organized by color i don't really know if it's organized at all but there are some really like pretty prints um it, and it seems to be okay quality you know i mean it certainly is cheap i mean that's six dollars a yard and then 30 percent off so i mean at the very least they do like to cover yeah 100 percent polyester but cotton feel it does feel like a wall or something anyways um so yeah that's what we have in terms of oh that isn't even apparel fabric that's just valentine's day um but this is what we have very kind of trendy right i mean look come on <laughs> how cute is that right it's an adorable little kids outfit all they have are kids clothes um displayed i think because it takes so few um so little fabric to make that is adorable how did they get the back because i was just wondering if i made shorts like this how do you not sit on the things did they pull them all off it doesn't look like it because that's a super cute outfit that i would make an adult version um that fabric is right here so it's 11.99 a yard and then 30 percent off but where's the coordinating backside? This one has pearls all over it. I'll ask her and see what she says. Anyways, let's go check out the patterns. Which are right cha. Okay, so we've got McCall's early spring. We've got Simplicity early spring. And that's it. No Vogue. Um, I did misspeak earlier. I was talking about McCall's early spring, not um, Butterick. So let's see if we can find one of the, okay, this was definitely an early spring pattern, M7889. So let's go see if we can find M7889. M7889. Well, that doesn't make any sense. 7886 to 8146. Um, maybe they're not in order. Seven, oh yeah. Yeah, they have them all in. There's 886. Okay. And then that's Vogue. So wait, they don't have them. Okay, let me do some more digging before I film this. Okay, so from what I can tell, they do have the new Simplicity Spring, or Early Spring, remember that one? Definitely remember that one, because I want to get that one. Um, but they don't have McCall's. So that makes me feel like, I mean, maybe they aren't shipping to stores? I mean... That seems crazy, but yeah, they don't have anything that goes past 7886. So all the new ones they don't have, but they do have a large inventory and it's all organized. So that's a plus, but yeah, bummer. And the McCall's one has been out longer than the Simplicity. So looks like maybe I'll be ordering online like I thought. Look, they have cork fabric to make like toe bags or clutch bags. So freaking cool. $23 a yard. It won't focus, but come on. There we go. $23 a yard and then all their home deck stuff is 30% off always. So um, what would that be? Still like... 16 17 dollars a yard sorry i got a phone call so that would be like 16 17 dollars a yard you don't need that much to make something it's so wide too oh. okay 
not getting it today, but noted. <laughs> noted. Um, they also have a really cool clearance, home deck clearance, and then also um, remnants. So that's nice to search through. But other than that, everything else is pretty standard stuff. So. Okay, so I'm all done. Um, the pattern thing, I asked her about it. She said, if we have the books, we have the pattern. So maybe that one pattern is missing. And I'm like, no, I'm like, there's a whole chunk. But supposedly the woman that runs the department was on her lunch break. And so the girl that was helping me didn't really know what she was talking about. I'll get back to that though. Um, the shorts with the pearls on them. So there are two different fabrics. The front fabric with the pearls on it is one. And then there is a chambray that is the backside. So when I grabbed those two fabrics, they didn't match. So it must have been like a different dye run, a different batch, a different bolt, something. It just, it just was a little bit off. And there's even like a really, really light colored one um and they didn't look right together either and I know that like Joanne has that pearl chambray so um I can go replicate that with fabrics that I know I can find other places no big deal um but when I was asking her about the shorts she did offer to go into the break room and ask the lady so I thought that that was really nice and super helpful of her um certainly wasn't lazy <laughs> um but you know obviously I couldn't like have a conversation so all of the questions I had in response to her the answer she had gotten from the fabric department lady she's like yeah, I don't know and I wasn't gonna have her run back there like 14 times that was silly I said I would just come back um, but I did buy a couple of things, so I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, first of all, I got my buttons that I needed. I got one set of buttons that I needed. You guys, I literally want the most simple buttons that I know I've seen a thousand times before, but Joanne didn't have them. These people didn't have them, so I'm going to have to go to... Um, one of the notions places in New York City. Well, not go to, but go to their website. What's the, the big one? I can't think of the name of it. Oh, anyways, it'll come to me. <laughs> I really can't think of it. Anyways, I'm going to have to go online to find the buttons is long story short. Um, I also got some shoulder pads that I need for the coat. So that was something I hadn't thought of that I needed, but I saw and I got and then, so, okay, so this is the chambray that is the backside of those shorts that didn't match the pearlized chambray, but I did get a bunch of this because it was like $5 a yard after the discount, um, and when I saw this, I knew exactly what I would make with the chambray. Ta-da! It is, um, tassel trim in all these different colors. So cute, right? And then, so I'm gonna make like a, like a maybe off the shoulder A-line trapeze tint-like dress um, and use this as the hem. With something like, <laughs> I'm trying to do this in the car. Something like this. Won't that be so cute on the hem of a dress? And then I got um, some extra so that if I wanted to do it, if there's like a, if there's like a flap or something, I can do it there too. Or maybe only there, not on the hem. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it. But I just thought the colors were so fun and the scale was right for a hem. So I got a bunch of this. The trim was all 50% off too. Actually, everything I got today was on sale. The notions were half off, trims half off, and the fabric was 30% off. Um but this was only $6.99 to start with. So it wasn't super expensive to start with. But anyway, so there you have it. There's my first experience at the Hobby Lobby. Technically, I'm in Matthews, North Carolina. And I feel like Matthews and Pineville are like 
total opposites. So the Joanne was like, we need to not be near the Hobby Lobby. And the Hobby Lobby is like, we need to not be near the Joanne. So they conspired and they're like this far apart. Um, but out here, there is also a Michaels and a, um, oh, that other art, uh, more AC Moore crafts. I've never been there before. Maybe they'll have my buttons. Maybe I should swing by there and see if they have the buttons. Those craft stores really just don't have a great button selection, but I am already out here. Oh, I don't want to add to my to-do list. All right, well, I got to go because I have an extra errand to run now, but thanks for joining along. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.